Hey everyone, it's Kayvon and today we're talking about one of my favorite things, movies. If you're a fellow movie lover, you're in the right place. From behind the scenes stories to deep dives into your favorite films, I'm here to keep you entertained and informed. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Allow me to take you on a journey into the world of Yusogi, a thrilling tale of gambling and power. As the story begins, we find ourselves in the midst of a high-stakes game between two seasoned gamblers, Baku and the leader of the renowned Kakura Club. The Kakura Club was widely known for its prowess in creating popular gambling games and even boasted membership of influential government officials, making it a force to be reckoned with. Undeterred by the club's power, Baku boldly challenges the leader to a game with a life-and-death consequence. If Baku loses, he would face certain death at the hands of the Kakura Club. However, the leader, not wanting to risk his own life, sends in a substitute to play in his place. The game they play is simple, yet deceptively challenging. They must predict whether a plane will pass by their location within the hour. Baku, confident in his abilities, predicts that a plane will indeed pass by within the hour. However, the Kakura Club, with their immense influence and power, takes advantage of their connections to ground all flights, making it impossible for Baku's prediction to come true. But Baku was not so easily defeated. He had a trick up his sleeve, hiring a plane to fly by during the hour to make his prediction come true. However, his plan ultimately fails, as the Kakaru Club's influence proved too great for even his cunning strategy. Thus concludes our tale of Yusogi, a story of high-stakes gambling, power, and the lengths one man will go to emerge victorious in a game of life and death. To pass from here did not happen as the club leader had also killed his pilot. Baku lost the game, and his defeat was announced. According to Baku, losing meant the Kakura Club could kill him. The referee took out his gun and started to shoot, but the leader intervened and ordered Baku to leave the city and his membership in the Kakura Club terminated. The scene then shifts to three years later, where we see Baku wandering in a small town and stumbling upon a group of gamblers. One man among them repeatedly won, but Baku discovered that he had put magnets on his dice. Baku exposed the cheater, and the group beat him up. In the evening, Baku met a friend who informed him that there was someone like him who wanted to defeat the leader of the Kakura Club, just as Baku had attempted three years prior. He is a researcher named Iki. There was a big blast in his lab which killed all of his colleagues. Now, Iki wants to defeat the leader of Kakura Club and take the highest position there. After hearing about this, Baku decides to go back to Tokyo, Japan as he also wants to take revenge for his previous defeat from the leader of Kakura Club. Next, we see a gambling game where Iki defeats the minister. The minister becomes angry and orders his colleagues to kill the referee, accusing him of helping Iki. However, the referee proves to be skilled in fighting and kills the minister and his men. The referee then offers to be Iki's assistant, which Iki accepts. Meanwhile, Baku arrives in Tokyo and meets a boy named Kaji who is a good person. Due to the betrayal of his friends, Kaji had incurred a huge debt. Baku felt pity for his condition and offered to help him pay off his debt. Kaji, who was very worried, agreed to his offer. In the evening, they both went to a club that belonged to Baku's friend. Baku used his cleverness to win a game with all the money he had. Everyone in the club was surprised at his victory, including his friend. He had won five million and gave it all to Kaji so he could repay his debt and live his life comfortably. Baku said goodbye and left, as he didn't want to put Kaji's life in danger by staying with him. Kaji paid off all his debt, but he had no other purpose in life, so he was very bored. He had money, but he enjoyed life much more when he was with Baku. On the other hand, we see Baku who had now reached Iki. He challenges Iki to play a game with him, but Baku is no longer a member of Kakura Club, so Iki forbids him from playing. Baku goes to his friend in the club for help because he wants to become a member of Kakura Club again. She tells Baku that he needs to find someone who will give him membership of the club willingly. She suggests an old man who has membership of Kakura Club, 
but warns that he is a little crazy and should be approached with caution. Before Baku's friend can say anything else, he leaves. Later, Baku meets Kaji again who expresses his desire to live with him. Baku agrees, and they make a plan to meet the old man. Their plan is to appear poor in front of the old man, and it works successfully. The old man offers them a gambling game when he sees their condition. After that, he takes them to his house in the jungle and tells them about the game. They have to catch some of his animals, and they will be given some time. If they succeed, they will be rewarded with 10 million. Baku meets the referee who came from the Kakura Club. Baku tells the old man that he doesn't want money, but he wants the membership of Kakura Club if he wins the game. The old man agrees to Baku's request. Before the game starts, Baku gifts a pen to the referee which is not a normal pen, but it has a mic in it so that he can hear the words of the referee and the old man during the game. The game starts, and Baku and Kaji go to the jungle to find the old man's animals. They find out that they have to find not an animal but a companion of the old man who also has guns. They have to compete with them. Meanwhile, the pen which Baku gave to the referee records the old man's voice in his device. Baku now uses the voice recording to call the old man's companions and kills them one by one. As they move further, the old man's other companions trap them in ropes, with their clothes, and pretend to be trapped. Baku and Kaji manage to find the rest of the people before the time is up and complete the game successfully. The old man is very angry about this and calls his son, who had turned into a monster due to some disease. But the son had a weakness, he feels sleepy after every 15 minutes, which Baku and Kaji exploit. They run away and hide in a warehouse where they find a medicine to make them unconscious. Baku uses the same medicine to make the old man's son unconscious. After a while, the old man gives Baku a membership card, and he had won the game before the time was up. When the referee comes to them, he congratulates Baku on becoming a member of Kakura Club. But Kaji was quite surprised to hear this. It was revealed that the leader of the Kakura Club had cancelled Baku's membership forever, and that was the reason why Baku had brought Kaji with him. He had given his own membership to Kaji so that he could be useful in his game. Kaji refused the referee's offer to take the membership, but the referee assured him that nothing wrong would happen to him, and he had to trust Baku. Meanwhile, Baku went to the old man's son and removed his mask. To his surprise, he discovered that the son was not a monster, but rather trained to look like one. Baku offered him to join his team, and the old man's son agreed. Later, we see Iki's lab where we find out what had actually happened to his companions. Iki wanted to promote his research without spending any money, but the government of the country he invited disallowed him from doing so. They sent him a gift to the lab, which contained a bomb that killed all of Iki's companions. And in that accident, he lost his eyesight. Iki became blind. After becoming a member of the Kakura Club, he wanted to take revenge on the government for his condition. The day had come when Baku and Iki's game was to start. Everyone was watching them live, including the members of the Kakura Club and Baku's friend. As soon as Baku and Iki arrived at the club, everyone was very excited to see them. At the same time, Iki's assistant scared Kaji, and accidentally fired his gun, damaging the camera. The people who were watching the game online bet money on them, and also decided the punishment for the loser, which was to be hanged with their partner. Meanwhile, we also see the leader of the Kakura Club, who was very happy to see the amount of money people had invested in his game. The gambling game had started, and the referee announced that every player would have to take a card from their opponent, without seeing it, and then match those cards with their own card. He also explained about the same old mate cards, which had a total of 5 numbers. If a player had a total of 11 numbers, they would lose. The referee said that both of you can use any trick, but the condition is that the other player should not know anything. The first round began, and Iki took the right card, while Baku chose the old mate card for the first time. Everyone was worried to see this, but Baku was feeling very relaxed. The second time, Baku took the wrong card, 
which made him very close to losing. Seeing this, his friend and Kaji were very worried because they had invested all their money in Baku. The third time, Baku took the old mate card, which gave him a total of 10 cards. When the last round began, Baku had already known about Iki's move as he was able to see his card with the help of a device. That's why Baku ate his favorite biscuit and started playing the last round. He had come to know that Iki was able to see everything with the help of cameras, although he was blind, but someone had helped him. A device was implanted in him that was connected to the CCTV cameras. Baku began to make his move. He saw Iki's cards and placed the old mate card in front. Iki collected the cards, but his points were decreasing while Baku's were increasing. Iki's assistant noticed Baku's cheating and tried to warn Iki, but no one could help. The referee instructed her to remain silent. Baku won the game and accused Iki of cheating in all the games. Iki's assistant became furious and attempted to attack Baku, but the referee intervened, and a fight broke out, resulting in Iki's assistant being killed. Since the loser was to be hanged, Iki and his partner were executed. However, before his death, Iki accepted his defeat. The story concludes with Baku and his companions heading to the gambling arena. And thus, the story comes to an end.